These action movies fail to get audiences blood or wallets pumping. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 action movies that bombed at the box office. So there's nothing that I can do? Is that what you're saying? I can have faith. That means we're looking at action-oriented films that were massive financial duds. We're ranking them based on how much money they lost as well as how much hype they had prior to release. All right, let's check it out. I hear that you are incredibly dangerous. Number 10, Gemini Man. Even though it managed to make it out of development hell, this film seemed to be doomed. Gemini Man tells the story of Henry Brogan, a former Marine turned assassin who's on the run from a clone of himself. Despite the impressive use of de-aging technology and solid performances, the sci-fi thriller was labeled as a generic action movie with a subpar script. At the box office, Gemini Man immediately tanked, bringing in only 173 of the expected $275 million, resulting in losses upwards of $75 million for the studios involved. It will live on, though, as one of Will Smith's biggest bombs ever. Number 9. Speed Racer Based on the classic anime from the 1960s, Speed Racer is a bright, colorful racing film about the titular protagonist and his struggles against his fellow racers and corporate greed. I hope I didn't scare you, Speed, with how hard we push our team. I just wanted you to see how committed we are to winning. The movie was not well received at the time of its release, but has since developed a cult following. Nevertheless, Speed Racer only grossed a little over $90 million on a budget of $120 million making it a bomb upon release. Oh my God, did I just see that? A rear single set jump into a flying kick. I know he blew up at Fuji, but this kid is flat out magic. Given that it was up against Iron Man, the film that kickstarted the enormously successful MCU, it's a wonder it even made as much as it did. You think you can drive a car and change the world? It doesn't work like that. Maybe not, but it's the only thing I know how to do and I gotta do something. Number eight, John Carter. Captain John Carter, Virginia. A Disney sci-fi action film adapted from a series of pulp adventure novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, John Carter is about the eponymous Civil War veteran who finds himself on Mars and becomes embroiled in a conflict there between Martian factions. So Dengar's winning the war, but I say, let red men kill red men until only thoughts remain. The movie had a troubled production and its budget reportedly ballooned during that time, which, along with advertising expenses, put the price tag at around $350 million. This will not do at all. Even John Carter's final gross of $284 million wasn't enough to recoup Disney's heavy investment, making it a very expensive bomb indeed. A fitting solution for your setback. What did you say, Cat? Number 7. Catwoman Sharing its name, if nothing else, with the comic character of the same name, Catwoman follows a woman who gains cat-like powers after being drowned by a villainous cosmetics company. You hear that? It's called silence. That's all I ever wanted. Now keep it down. Lambasted by critics for failing on nearly every production level, its gratuitous sexualization, and its lack of ties to its supposed source material, Catwoman also failed to connect with audiences, managing to only gross $82 million on a budget of $100 million. The other night you killed somebody. She was a nice girl. Why? <laughs> Cat got your tongue. Cats may have nine lives, but Catwoman had trouble scraping together even one. <laughs> Number six, Alexander. A historical epic about the life of Alexander the Great, the famed Macedonian general and ruler, Alexander failed to live up to the greatness of its namesake. Critics largely panned the film citing its poor pacing, historical inaccuracies, and lack of involving characters as some of its major faults. What disturbs me most is not your lack of respect for my judgment. It's your contempt for a world far older than ours. Meanwhile, audiences were probably turned off by its laborious runtime and the sparse action. Although it grossed $167 million on a $155 million budget, advertising and other costs still put the film behind around twice that much. <laughs> Number 5. The Rhythm Section Releasing a movie around the Super Bowl can be risky, and the rhythm section proved to be no exception. If it wasn't an accident, there was a bomb on that plane. 
This action drama film stars Blake Lively as a grieving mother who finds out her family was killed not in a tragic plane crash, but instead a terrorist attack. Why are you here? To offer your closure. And how would you do that? The setup for the movie must not have appealed to many, as it received the worst wide opening of all time. Making only $2.8 million of the expected 9 to 12 million in its first weekend. With losses expected to be in the 30 to 40 million dollar range, this action movie was just a little offbeat. Not, not quite my tempo. Number 4. The Lone Ranger. This western action film, adapted from a long-running radio series and other media, follows the title Texas Ranger and his Native American sidekick as they team up to fight outlaws. Going somewhere? Yes. No. Like other entries on our list, The Lone Ranger suffered critically as well as financially. As many found it overflowing with too many ideas, and the whitewashing of Tonto was a rather sore spot. Indians like Coyote. He kill and leave nothing to waste. Tell me, King Wasabi. What does the white man kill for? The movie had many production issues and cost at least $225 million, though that figure bloats to over $375 million with advertising costs. Since it only managed to make $260 million, The Lone Ranger managed to be a singularly disappointing bomb. Worse. How could this be worse? Could develop an itch on your nose. Number 3. 47 Ronin Set in a fantasy world of 18th century Japan, 47 Ronin is about a group of disgraced slash outcast samurai, or Ronin, who try to get revenge on the man who disgraced their former lord. They say only demons have the power to see past a witch's disguise. Are you a demon? No. While its visuals and action were praised by some, most found the characters and the story flat, and it was especially unsuccessful in connecting with Japanese viewers. I take a vow before you, but I will not rest until justice is done. It also failed spectacularly at the box office, making only $151 million on a $225 million budget a figure that includes marketing costs, with its total losses amounting to around as much as it made when accounting for inflation. If I accept my fate, no one will question the honor of our people. Number 2. Sahara An action-comedy-adventure film, Sahara follows adventurers searching for a ship in the Sahara Desert, while also becoming caught up in a fight against a warlord spreading a deadly plague. Hi! Hold on! While many of the films on this list so far have been considered bad, most criticism of this adventure flick is about how generic and dull it is. They're treasure hunters, General. Marine salvage, they call themselves. Hardly your military elite. Don't underestimate them. One of the most expensive flops of all time, Sahara made $119 million at the box office, but its total cost was a whopping $160 million. It seems like the executives in charge invested a bit too much in their own search for treasure. You should put the money to better use. Like containing this plague. Is it telling that I have seen exactly zero of the movies on this list, including the honorable mentions? Yes, yes it is. All right, well, you would think that based on the stars that number one could have pulled in at least some audience members, but no, it failed miserably. So let's look through the honorable mentions, or dishonorable, I guess, and then we'll see what our biggest action movie box office bomb was. So you really want to attack this thing? Yes. Yes, I do. The NSA guy you were talking to, what's his supervisor's name? Ben Hitchens. Well, maybe it's better if the two of you and you aren't around for the next part so you can deny being here. In med school, we were taught that this is the most painful experience that a person can adore without possibly going into cardiac arrest. See? I told you we find your friend. Show him your hand. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. R.I.P.D. I can't let you turn that gold in. 
What? This supernatural buddy action comedy film follows a police officer that is recruited into a ghostly police force after death to combat evil spirits. You can take your chances with judgment, or you can join the RIPD. Critics panned the film, adapted from a comic book, as being highly derivative of Ghostbusters and Men in Black, while also being rather predictable and nonsensical. Yeah, look, I'm sorry to disappoint, but this is crap. Audiences stayed away in droves too, as RIPD cost $130 to make, yet it only grossed $78 million, making it one of the biggest box office bombs of all time. A movie this unoriginal never stood a ghost of a chance. Kinda like that pun. Stop talking. Just Stop it. My Stop job. it. Stop talking. You're the one who's talking. I bet they thought they were gonna knock him dead with RIPD, but instead it was dead on arrival. All right, sorry for all the gallows humor and terrible puns, but anyway, let us know in the comments which action movie bomb disappointed you the most. Or come tell me on my YouTube channel or on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton. Also, please watch this other video.